Hey guys, uh, I want to make a very quick video uh, for this one. Um, if you remember last time when we made this patches video, it was saying showing license not specified. And since I'm working in open source project, and if you also want to do that in the future, I think it's just a good idea to specify this license. So the way you can do it is super easy. Just go to the project, go to code, uh, not to code, go to add file, create a new file, and just start typing license and when you do that it asks you to choose a license template and as you can see in the left side you have a lot of options available the one which i like is mit license but you can pick your own license like whatever you like so for now if i pick mit license if i click on review and submit uh, do not change the name like keep the default one and uh, if you now say uh, create license create a new branch propose a new file uh, a branch is created create a pull request you can hear these notifications the pull request is created uh, now it's running the build check without the build check we cannot merge rpr which is what we want it typically takes a few seconds let's just wait and watch uh, okay running everything, the build is green, the PR is marched. And if we go to the code, this thing should change from license not specified to now license MIT. Why does it not show it? Uh, I think there's some caching problem because I think I also tried in the past and sometimes it gives you this caching problem. Just to make sure, go back to the Shields badge and if you, let's say, uh, let's do it again. Let's just go to Shields IO, give your project URL, and suggest badges. Just you can see it's showing license MIT. Just copy this thing, uh, put it here. We already have it. Control V, and now it does show that it's a license for MIT. If it does not show, which is what I've seen in the past, what you can do is uh, Windows 2, just change the style from flat to let's say plastic and copy the URL or like whatever you want, but just change it from the default flat to flat square or whatever. Or maybe we can just try it, like uh, keep it flat and, and let's see what happens. Because I don't know if, if it will reflect well in the uh, in, in here and that would be a good test so let's say we create a git checkout branch and we say uh, add license right uh, git branch and if I open Visual Studio Code now uh, it should update our ED file Uh, it has not updated the readme file because probably that is what it was before and it was not showing not license so let's change it a little bit uh, let's go to windows one and let's add a flat square right copy batch URL windows one and let's put this one here now the readme file has changed and we can say add license. We push, uh, copy the command, enter. Let's go and create a pull request. It just created. Let's also create a pull request. Okay. Uh, let's click on okay branch is out of date it's no problem enable auto branch so whenever you get that message what you can do is check out your main branch pull all the changes right get branch go back to add license control c get checkout and license Mouse with the main branch, mouse is done, hit push, 
and now everything should be fine. And let's go back and lose one. Now we should be able to, yep, so the branch is now able to be merged. And if you go back to the project, you see a MIT license here, right? So just a quick video, nothing super fancy, but just a useful thing that you might want to learn uh, if you want to work on open source project is to, you know, how to add licenses to a project. That's it. See you guys in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.